everybody, this is Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick. Uh, today I want to talk to you about water containers. Now just to give you an idea, what I'm trying to get at is uh, uh, I typically uh, used to carry just a whole bunch of water with me and then I would fill up as needed. But what I found out over time is I don't need to carry all that water. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to carry uh, X amount of water that I need uh, for the time that I'm going to be hiking and then to refill as I go or as I come to camp. Um, now to do that, I'm trying to get it ways to be able to carry containers with me that will hold a large capacity but still remain lightweight and uh, take up very limited space in my pack. Um, I started out with the Nalgene, uh, I mean the Camelback bladder. This is a 100 ounce bladder. It's really nice. Um, it's convenient because it's got the hose and everything and it does have a large capacity, but it takes a weight hit. It weighs 7.5 ounces with everything. So I'm trying to look at something a little bit lighter. I looked at Gatorade bottles and I used those for a while and those are fine and dandy. I uh, don't really have any complaints about them, but I was still looking for for something else. The one complaint I did have about a Gatorade bottle is that I couldn't uh, I couldn't compress it down any smaller if I wasn't using it. So if I was going to bring four Gatorade bottles just so I'd make sure I had enough space to carry water in if I needed it, I was going to have to have enough room for four Gatorade bottles to fit. I couldn't compress it down. So I tried out a few other things. And what I ended up going with, or trying out, is uh, is some of these collapsible canteens or bladders. Um, just real quick too, uh, an alternative that I've been using over the Gatorade bottles is these Smart Water bottles. Uh, they're uh, pretty handy because they're a little bit smaller in diameter and they're taller, so it makes it easier to get in and out of my pack. But one thing about that too is it also is potentially easier to come out of your pack while you're hiking. Uh, and then just to kind of throw this in there, I did pick this up. It's a soft-sided Nalgene bottle. It weighs about half the weight of the harder Trigen bottles. Um, but it's, it's a pretty nice bottle and it's got a wide mouth on it. But anyway, onto these right here. This is what I really wanted to talk about. Um, to begin with, I bought this Nalgene 1 liter canteen. And just so you'll know, this weighs one or 2.3 ounces. Um, Nice thing about it is, is, as you can see, it folds up smaller. Just imagine if this was a Gatorade bottle. It folds up a little bit smaller and I can fit it in a smaller space in my pack. Uh, of course, it weighs just a little bit more than a Gatorade bottle, uh, about an ounce more or so, I think, than a Gatorade bottle. But um, the benefit I'm getting out of it is a small packing unit. Um, nice thing about it is this one's a 32 ounce uh, canteen. Well, you can see where the 32 ounce mark is and I can actually fit closer to 40 ounces in this thing so it has a fairly large carrying capacity um, as well it's got a large mouth on it and even the cap uh, is attached to this uh, holder here but now this is where all my extra weights coming in so this is what's uh, this is what I'm taking a weight hit but this is something that's functional I think so it's sometimes you have to take a weight hit if it's functional in my opinion so this is uh, this is the Nalgene Canteen. It's pretty thick and durable in my opinion. Um, it's a multi-layer film is what this is made of. One concern I have is that it might uh, come apart right here in this corner uh, just because of the way it's designed, these hard corners and then this softer uh, plastic. So that's something I'm going to have to keep an eye on, but I like it. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, uh, I came across this. Um, this was actually kind of like a Christmas gift for me. This right here is a Platypus 2 liter soft bottle. Now the weight on this is only 1.2 ounces, so it's actually lighter than my 1 liter Nalgene. So that's really cool. Plus, if you'll notice, uh, I've already unrolled this one, but this one will actually pack down just a little bit smaller than this one, so I can even get a better uh, space savings with this one. Now, uh, two things that I'm not sure about on this one. Um, first off, the small mouth on it makes it really hard to feel, especially if it's just from a string. Um, and then also the second thing is this plastic or this film doesn't seem to be quite as durable as the Nalgene. I don't, I'm not really sure. I've only had this thing out once, but I can see some little dents and some spaces in it that uh, just kind of cause me not really much concern right now, but it makes me um, aware that I might have some concern about the durability of this product going into the field. But like I say, I've only had it out once, uh, light use. So I can't really make the durability determination right now. But anyway, this is the Platypus 2 liter. And as you can see, 2 liters stops right here. So I can fit well more than 2 liters into this thing. Uh, so this is really handy. It's super light. 
uh, for the carrying capacity and it packs down super small. I really like the idea of this, but I'm wondering if I'm going to miss the big mouth on this. So anyway, those are the two water carrying containers that I've been trying out. Just kind of wanted to share uh, share with you a little about a uh, little bit about them. And if you have any thoughts about either one of these or any use or anything, just feel free to leave in your comment section below. Uh, just any of your thoughts about it. But anyway, I appreciate you watching, and until next time, see you later.